trying to wrap this up really quickly. So this is our third reading, our Ochi's United Energy Forecast for May 2022. For those of you that don't know me, hi, my name is Marissa. The good friends call me Miss Black. That is makes sense with beautiful looks always created kindly. And um, you can find out more about me at marissablack.com. This lovely drink I have here is Indulgence with mango, apple, lemon, grape, and pineapple, 100% fruit, no added sugar, no preservatives. I offer it to my clients um, as long as I have it in stock. Um, with their service and um yeah i have it at the barbershop with me i love it minister goldsmith minister wazir goldsmith on facebook um is a great human being yes he is and he is actually the man behind this drink that i have grown to love and appreciate for a great deal of reasons you know just for the health benefits i love to get my produce you know i don't always get to eat my produce so sometimes drinking them and juicing you know is an alternative that i became aware of years ago and i've enjoyed the benefits from it and to simplify this process where i can buy a cooler or two a week you know for myself and you know for my clients to include with the service and you know to also sell you know for the ministry you know, to, you know, offer and receive donations, you know, it has been a great benefit to help keep things flowing because with tapping into a new market, yes, I'm aware of my work and, you know, the greatness of it. And, you know, people don't necessarily know me. So with that being said, the getting to know me process has always been interesting anywhere that I've gone. And that's why I'm always like, you know, kind of a loner to myself because, you know, I'm misunderstood in a lot of instances. And it's not fun being misunderstood, you know. Life goes on though, I'm not here to cry about it. So with that being said, um, with, I've, I've had a lot of time on my hands and I've done a lot of studying and that is why I'm here today, you know, sharing the wisdom, the insight, the, you know, guidance, that comes to me from on high, from the most high God, from Ra, you know, yes. Um, and, you know, Mother Earth, you know, just being in tune with the elements and, you know, the planetary system and, you know, being in tune with my own body and my own mind and my own soul. And then, you know, being a person who observes others. Excuse me. And that's something that, you know, I've also done throughout my life. Um, and the more that I've done that, it makes me more and more want to just focus on me and, you know, find the things within myself that I'm grateful for and um, find the things that, you know, I would like to be better and do better and think better and create and produce better, you know, in um, all areas of my life. That's mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially. I'm always looking to challenge myself to, you know, graduate to, you know, um, I don't necessarily need a certificate or a degree for validation. My validation has most definitely come spiritually with the gifts that have awakened within me. Um, the level of discernment um, the level of discernment, you know, that has been developed within me um, for me to use and navigate through life um, respectfully and responsibly, working with others, you know, we have so many different languages and so many different vocabulary words and so many different dictionaries and thesauruses and encyclopedias with so many answers and so many understandings and articulations, you know, for so many different things. But, you know, um, love, you know, is one of those words that, you know, connects us all, you know, some way, somewhere, somehow. And um, 
this is a season of us reconnecting with love and you know true love at that you know discovering what it is and you know how we're able to you know use it better for ourselves you know that's called self-love and you know how we're able to express it better you know within our um most intimate most personal most important relationships you know whether that be family you know um your parents your children your um aunts and uncles and cousins or if it is your you know friends in school and church or at the temple or the mosque or you know wherever you connect with people of like mind and like spirit um whether it's at the bar or the club or i listen i'm not here to judge okay i you know that jeezy song i done seen it all yeah that part so with that being said you know we connect with people in different ways and you know for different reasons and with that um we're now reaching um, a very, very vital, important time where we're having to put the bullshit to the side, like bullshit, like BS, like anything that looks like bullshit, anything that sounds like bullshit, anything that tastes like bullshit, anything that feels like bullshit is bullshit. It got to go. <sighs> yeah. I mean, we got good friends like Steve Jobs, who's no longer with us physically, but most definitely his work here is spiritually, you know, his spiritual work and, you know, developing, you know, tools such as iPhone, iPad, iCloud, and, you know, have had little baby geniuses under him that have expanded that since his um, departure from the physical realm. Um, and the human experience, but his legend or his um, legacy is still here. <clears throat> and then we have, you know, another one like Bill Gates, you know, Microsoft and, you know, the incredible things he's been able to do and produce and create and, you know, um, inspire and, you know, um, articulate, you know, those types of things. It's been interesting to watch the evolution, you know, of, you know, these types of characters, men, human beings, individuals. Um, and with, you know, people having different belief systems and different understandings of how this thing called life and the world and, you know, energy and connections and how everything goes you know it's we have to be careful we have to be careful we have to be careful that's all all right so with that being said let's go into this may 2022 ogs united energy forecast um i was gonna get into a little bit of politics but i ain't even about to do that right now because i was gonna say you know the likes of the biden crew I'm only messing with them because they the ones there now, but we know the truth is, you know, they all the same thing. It's the system. Come on, stop playing with me. This is our chakra reading guidebook here to go with our ancient wisdom to balance and heal. Yes, that's what this deck is all about. All right, let's get an alignment message here. Ah, oh, stretching. I'm a lot of cards, but Mother Earth is definitely the one that y'all synced it. Number one, Mother Earth. And number 25, Clarity. If you have not yet checked out um, the money message and our Organized Goddess 11 um, reading, I encourage you to do that because I'm most definitely seeing a continuation. It is so incredible. What I think I'm actually inspired to do, because we did talk about new vision and inspiration um, in those other readings, I'm being inspired to connect them and make this a little mini movie um, from the work that I did yesterday and getting, getting into alignment 
Um, I recorded myself, you know, outside working out a little bit, doing something a little light, you doing the best I can with what I had to work with. I wanted weights, but I didn't have them. So I was only focused on flexibility and, you know, a little bit of cardio with the jump rope and, you know, stretching, you know, it's a long day at work. So I recorded that um, and getting fresh air outside, the last little bit of sunlight, you know, winding down. And then um, I got together today to do these readings. And the readings, it's a, a nice little study flow here. I really like it. So I'm being inspired right now and I'm sharing that just to share my inspiration process because it's in my head, but you know, yeah. I'm gonna just put it all together now. I guess that's the clarity. <laughs> that was for me. Oh, and we got number six balance on the bottom. Yes. Red. The root chakra is balanced. And because of that, we got some clarity coming through because number one, Mother Earth flipped. Y'all synced it. Y'all synced it. Mm, 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 mm. And then there was light, the beginning. <clears throat> All right, number one, Mother Earth, the Earth Star Chakra. You have attracted this card into your life today to remind you to spend more time in nature. Life these days can be quite fast paced and busy, which can cause large amounts of stress and challenges. Mother Earth is calling you back to the womb, back to your core and your center. It's now time to reconnect to the flow of nature where everything is in a constant state of harmony and balance. If you have been feeling unsettled or disconnected lately, then it is definitely time to feel the earth under your feet and take some time to stop, breathe, and experience the natural energy from the earth. The earth is a living, breathing being. She is constantly offering an abundance of healing energies for you to connect to at any time. While we exist here on planet Earth, she is our mother, the one that nurtures, feeds, supports, grounds, and protects us at all times. By connecting deeply with her, you will be open to receive her powerful qualities. The Earth supports every single step you take in life and is always there to catch you when you fall. You are being encouraged to take a moment in nature and tune into her heartbeat as you feel the love that she has to offer. It is now time to open and receive a blessing from the Divine Mother Earth. Allow her energy to fill you up, refresh you, and wash away any fears or stress you have been holding at this time. You may have also called this card in today because you are currently working on healing issues you have with your own mother or yourself as a mother. Know that healing is here and it is now time to open your heart and receive the love of the earth. Affirmation, my heart beats as one with the healing vibration of mother earth. All right, so the dope thing is this is number one, but in the book it's on page number 19. That powerful number right there. Woo, woo, woo. Y'all better go check out brother 19 keys them high-level conversations on Earn Your Leisure podcast, they showing off. Them boys are showing off. They showing off. I don't know what y'all heard, but they showing. Mm, okay. I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm appreciative. I'm, I'm, I'm tuned in, tapped in. I ain't gonna say I'm turned on. <laughs> Even though it might be. <laughs> Alright, so this is our Isis Oracle. Y'all know I be telling y'all this deck ain't to be played with. <laughs> it ain't to be played with. It's grown people business right here. Every time the messages come through and the work that comes behind it, I be like, damn, okay then. Alright, I got it. I like it. Alright, we in there then. I didn't even expand upon the Mother Earth message because it was so clear in the book. It was like, that's it. Like, <clears throat> Queen of Heaven. 
Blessings from the Divine Empress of the Skies. Yo, we got all this powerful goddess energy popping through this ring in a day. And then we got the temple of mm, the temple. The temple of Lapis Lazuli, goddess of the ancient skies. So this card came up, you know, what month? That was around September, I think in 20, 2020, September 2021, one of them. When I was living at the old house in Delaware or whatever. And when this card came out, it dropped on the floor and the bottom dropped out the sky literally at the same time. Now, when I say that, I mean it started pouring down, raining and thunder and lightning. The same time this card jumped out, it was in the video. <clears throat> <sighs> Queen of Heaven. And we just had a little light, little light, light thunderstorm. At least on this side, it was light. All right. So we got Cali for Liberation. If you missed that, go back and check it out. Um, we got the Queen of Heaven and Mother Earth in the building. Blessings from the Divine Empress of the Skies. The Queen of Heaven, the Divine Empress of the Skies, acknowledges your feminine authority now. As a man or a woman, you have a life path of spiritual leadership to bring qualities of mercy, compassion, and wisdom into the world. The Oracle of the he excuse me, the Oracle of the Queen of Heaven is a confirmation of your feminine leadership and spiritual authority, whether in male or female body, this lifetime. Isis means throne, and in her presence and blessing as divine empress of the skies. She offers initiates of the light, men and women, great feminine spiritual power. Feminine spiritual authority occurs when, a, when power is tempered with mercy, wisdom, compassion, and love. It is inspired spiritual leadership through the heart and a model of power and authority that is based in empowerment rather than force or control. Isis, Queen of Heaven, calls you to ascend to the throne of feminine leadership within your own being that you may fulfill your life mission and serve the divine feminine on this planet from a place of inner spiritual authority. This oracle is confirmation to step forward in leadership if you have been considering doing so. It might be in connection with others, especially if you also drew the card of divine sisterhood. But you are also to realize that you are a capable spiritual leader in your own right as you do as you trust in the divine feminine values within this new model of power is not about assuming authority over another but about living your truth and integrity and leading by authentic example there's a great power here and no false sense of responsibility for another which could drain you and create dependency rather than growth in those you seek to empower through your leadership. You are encouraged to contemplate how you might step more fully into your own authority. Often this requires that we make peace with the authority figures in our lives, past and present, and how we have experienced those relationships. Whether as supportive, truthful, or empowering, or as disempowering, shaming or perhaps <clears throat> shaming or perhaps minimizing or inflating of our sense of grat gratiosity, healthy relationships with authority figures help us recognize where we can learn and perhaps be mentored by another and where we can to help others learn and grow. Through the eyes of the divine feminine, authority is not a question of hierarchy with one more authoritative over another who has less authority. It is rather more like a circle of life where we all have different awareness, ability, and mastery to share with each other, together guiding each other into greater wholeness, each of us with our own spiritual responsibility for our growth 
in our own capacity to help others to the degree that we are willing and able. Making pace with authority figures, past and present, often involves pulling back the unconscious projection of our own authority, divinity, and strength upon those persons. Seeing them as belonging to ourselves and allowing the other to be more human. It may involve recognizing the gifts and the human failings of the authority figure and within ourselves in that moment. Seeing the grace involved as two people with limited consciousness attempted a relationship. There will always be gifts and learning on both sides of the relationship. Allow the release of forgiveness that comes with compassion and the freedom that willingness to grow within brings so that your relationship to authority within and externally can be healed and transformed. <clears throat> my voice is getting a little scratch, itchy. Let me drink some of my indulgence. Mango, apple, lemon, grape, and pineapple. All right, I'm continuing. Next part. Blessings from the Divine Empress of the Skies. Sitting comfortably in a quiet space where you will not be disturbed, close your eyes and say aloud three times, I call upon Isis who loves me unconditionally. I call upon you three times, beloved Inatrix, Empress and Heaven, excuse me, Empress and Queen of Heaven. Become aware of a ball of pure light above the crown of your head. This is the auric energy of the goddess Isis descending. Send love to that ball of light. Make sure I turn my ringer off in the future because <laughs> I was just like tapped in and I just tapped out and I can't find where I was. <laughs> <clears throat> I call upon Isis who loves me unconditionally. I call upon you three times, beloved Inatrix, Empress in heaven, Queen of heaven. Become aware of a ball of pure light above the crown of your head. This is the auric energy of the goddess Isis descending. Send love to that ball of light and watch it soften and grow as it begins to rain light down on your head, filling your aura like a waterfall of light until you sense. Intend or feel it all around you, flowing. Relax into this flow of energy, feeling good. Say, I give thanks to this blessing, this anointment, to spiritual leadership true and pure, given and received in unconditional love. Thank you to the beloved Queen of Heaven, Isis, Divine Empress of the Skies, for the guidance and blessing as I ascend to the throne of spiritual truth within my own soul now. Imagine, perceive, or intend that you can send love up into that ball of light as it becomes a throne or majestic seat made out of light and love. Allow it to descend through the crown of your head until it rests as pure love in your heart. Feel the warmth, love, and fullness in your heart while the throne of light grows stronger as you allow yourself to become more aware of it within you. Gently touch your heart and say, I honor the spiritual authority that you possess. I listen to, value, and act on your truths. Thank you for your strength, wisdom, and love. Allow the light of Isis to continue to flow down through the crown of your head to the heart and out of your heart, pouring through it as pure love. Visualize or intend that this energy of love pour from your heart through time and space to any person or place, past or present that holds any unresolved karmic energy as spiritual, psychological, emotional, or physical patterning in your being. This love will heal and free you from these old patterns that are not, excuse me, let me read that again. This love will heal you from 
these old patterns that are not who you are in truth. Freely and generously send as much love as you can to these patterns releasing now. Know that you will receive more liberation, freedom, healing, release, and empowerment as you send love. When you are ready, say, I now choose of my own free will to completely forgive, release, and grow beyond any old patterning with me that holds me from the full experience of my divine inner authority now. Through all time and space, with the loving grace of Isis supporting me now, so be it. Take a full breath in and full breath out, imagining you are breathing, imagining you are breathing out of your heart. The healing love of Isis flowing powerfully within your breath. You may feel a release of energy from your heart or from your other part of your body as you do this, just allow. Relax with your breath flowing naturally now. When you are ready, just open your eyes. Whether you feel a strong energetic or physical response or not does not determine the extent of the blessing. Some bodies recognize subtle energy freely. Others are still learning to do so. The blessing in given according to in need, uh, and according to need and grace, have gratitude in your heart that what you have received is offered with wisdom so that it shall serve your highest path. The incantation for blessings from the queen of heaven. This is the last part. You can add this incantation to the beginning of the ritual above, or you can use it as a tool on its own to solicit appropriate support for your spiritual leadership work on this planet, whether in an obvious form as a teacher or healer, or in the simple and very important through perhaps less immediately obvious way of how you choose to live your life. Empress of the skies, heavenly queen, beloved Isis, my heart is king. From darkness and fear to be released, to reconnect, excuse me, to connect with my power in deepest peace. Bless me. That is, excuse me, let me read that again. <clears throat> Bless me that this may be so in accordance with heaven's plan that I grow. Beloved queen, clothe me in the authority and light. I now claim my spiritual birthright. Yes, I now claim my spiritual birthright. Let's repeat that one. All right. So this is powerful, y'all. This is so powerful. I had to read the whole thing this time because this is too much power right here with our feminine energy. I'm sorry, it's not too much. It's it's what it's supposed to be right now. And I'm just grateful to be here witnessing it all and present and doing my part respectfully and responsibly because we got Mother Earth, you know, to show us the representation of the etherical, the ethers, you know, um, <clears throat> the spiritual side, insight, and messages, you know, we got here, the unforeseen, the unconscious. And then we have, you know, here, the spiritual, um, in the sense of more practicality, how we are able to um, use this ancient wisdom um, and guidance to establish um, better foundations for us, you know, moving forward in all areas and all aspects of our lives. And, you know, we have, you know, our fire goddess, Kali, you know, who represents liberation, you know, and freedom, um, movement, you know, aggressive movement, um, if it needs to be. Um, we don't want that. We don't, this is chaos. This is destruction also on the not so positive end yes on the not so positive end it can be destruction and chaos so with that being said we want to make sure that the message we're getting 
is to prevent the lower vibrational, the negativity, the destruction and chaos. We want to have, um, cause with the queen of heaven here, this is speaking to me that, you know, this is divine timing. This is divine alignment. This is the time to choose wisely. And in order to choose wisely, we need to be clear. We need to have clarity. Um, that also came up in our first reading, the money message. All right, so we got the Eight of Pentacles that flipped over. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Four of Wands. And we have the Hierophant. So what I'm hearing here is old spiritual um, belief systems are collapsing because it wasn't the truth, because they were all about control and oppression and in order for Mother Earth to replenish, restore, and sustain, um, there has to be balance. You know, there has to be more balance. People have to be more aware of the connection to um, everything that there. Everything is connected. Everything is intertwined. Um, earth, wind, and fire. Go listen to some of their music. Um, Frankie Beverly made We Are One, you know, that type of energy, that type of um, music, that vibration is um, relevant more now than ever. If you look at it, it was kind of prophetic back then, like the importance that is, the importance um, that was being articulated in the music um, was that we are, everything is connected, the elements you know, the feelings that we have within us, um, the thoughts that we have, um, and the things that we produce and create subsequently. So um, the suppression of the feminine energy, the high priestess, the, the priestess, those that have been um, condemned and called things like witches and, um, you know, things of those sorts, gypsies and things, you know, women, powerful women that have been suppressed because of their power. That can't continue um, at all anymore. And we're seeing that in a lot of different ways um, if you're paying attention. Um, it's happening more on, uh, when I say lower scale, I want to, you know, just paint a picture because I talk to everyday common regular citizens and people, men, women, and children in the work that I do, um, as a natural hair care specialist, um, and my ministry as well. But then, you know, on, uh, when I say higher level, I'm talking about, what many people identify as the elites or, you know, the people in power. Um, I get and attract attention from, you know, all of that. So when I'm translating these messages, you know, I'm making sure that I'm doing my best to communicate to all parties involved. Moving along. Um, what I'm seeing here is uh liberation women stepping into um the truth of who they are connecting with their gifts making the decision to not um suppress their gifts or deny them run from them um just stuff like that we, we're moving out of that type of energy we are restoring our bodies and our minds by releasing um, unhealthy commitments, unhealthy relationships, you know, um, abusive connections and relationships, 
um, things that keep us um, out of alignment with nature, your menstrual cycle, um, something that, you know, you get mother nature every month. It's not supposed to be painful. It's not supposed to be something that's dreaded, um, a time of the month that's being dreaded. It's not supposed to be um, an uncomfortable time. It's actually supposed to be a creative time, um, a healing and nurturing time um, if you're in a position to do that the right way. And that is where, you know, I'm most definitely incorporating that into what I do every day, whether I'm talking to a man, a woman, or a child, and making sure that I express, you know, the best way I know how the, the importance of taking care of ourselves. And, you know, that's not just with, you know, making sure our hair is groomed and looking good, but making sure that we're feeling good internally, you know, that when we look in the mirror without this, you know, hair and makeup or lashes or fancy clothes and jewelry or whatever, when we just look in the mirror bare of all of that, that we still feel confident and feel good and feel true love for what we see. And when we have that, then we're able to recognize and connect with someone else that, you know, um, aligns with that same energy within themselves and they can mirror you and you can have a, a happy, harmonious commitment. So in doing that, you're able to bring healthy, happy children into the world where you're able to offer them more than you would be if the latter was true. And, you know, poverty and poverty mindset and poverty behavior, behavior was at stake. So we're breaking away from that. We're being liberated to um, learn the importance of working hard when you need to um, on the things that you want to work hard for you know, to have um, a healthy, stable foundation in your life mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and financially. But then also um, recognizing that there's going to be obstacles and challenges that come along the way if you want something that is true, stable, and lasting. Um, but with that, you want to have to be able to have the um, perseverance to overcome the heartbreak, the disappointments, the expensive learning lessons, and things of the sort. So, um, intuition, you know, when I think of it now, it's for some reason I'm looking at these cards and the, the seriousness in their eyes, like they're all facing, you know, they're facing straight forward with piercing eyes and just straight power. I just feel a lot, a lot of power here. Got the earth, the ethers, and within us, or within us. The heavens, the ethers, the earth, and within us. I feel like each card represents um, a part of the woman. Yeah, this is all about um, women taking accountability, women um, taking responsibility for their own well-being, their own health, their life and their dreams, their desires, their goals. They're not um, sitting around waiting for um, a man or, you know, tricking men to, you know, stay with them, whether that be, you know, for financial reasons or with a baby or, you know, with poor poverty driven ideas that are going to produce outcomes and results that nobody wants to be dealing with. Especially in this day and age with technology and yeah, you're telling yourself. So with that being said, um, hard work, <laughs> dedication, work ethic, you know, are things that are going to be needed and developed 
Um, they most definitely can be developed um, if you have a desire to do so. All right, and we got the Four of Swords here. The Three of Chalices, the Three of Cups. Underneath the Three of Swords. And we got the Two of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the sun. A couple more flipped over, but yeah, we got a bunch of wands in there. What's on the bottom? The seven of wands. Hmm. Somebody has been juggling <laughs> a situation. Um idea a relationship um someone's been quite confused and i feel like the confusion has come from illusions elusive behavior like if someone um like is under a spell like or they're under um a substance like you know drugs or alcohol it alters your state of you know your consciousness your your clarity the way that you're perceiving things and when i say under a spell we don't realize how you know you can be under a spell from being someone who falls asleep listening to the television at night and you listen to commercials being downloaded in your subconscious about um different illnesses and you know, the, the medicine or the pill that is the solution with a hundred thousand side effects. And people actually fall asleep listening to that type of stuff every night. And then they're under a spell and thinking and believing that, you know, they have aches, they hurt and they're sick. And in many cases, now don't get it twisted. In some instances, people are experiencing those things, but the programming is designed to, um, have you thinking that you feel it when you don't or um disempowers you to find real solutions to uh regaining you know your strength and you know mobility and freedom from pain and discomfort so that was just an example that came to me i'm just channeling so that's just what that was but um the sun is here as our outcome which is very um positive which is very um, empowering and you know we got mother earth liberation queen of heaven with the sun and the sun is represented here in the egyptian tarot deck with a uh, feminine energy dressed in white and the sun is you know shining down over her crown um she has her arms raised with her feathers on her arms to show you know her scales you know, she's light as a feather, um, she's pure, she, she has done the work, um, she's free from other people's judgments and ideas of who she should be and um, what she should do and how she should do it, you know, free from those judgments and just in alignment with source energy, Ra, the most high, the you know, the divine um, within her that also is above her and she knows the connection and experiences it, you know, monthly, daily, you know, weekly, hourly, you know, the more she's connected, the more she sees the truth within and without and is able to better articulate and communicate to support others and you know finding that within themselves now what i'm showing here we have the sun represented with a feminine energy and i have to look at this how <laughs> i laid these cards unconsciously um we have the hierophant here 
crowned by the King of Cups. And they are both facing the sun and they are behind the sun. So um, let me try to hold this up the best way I can to see what I'm seeing here from a different angle. All right, the way that I had it laying down was they are behind her like this. So now that you see that, follow me. They are approaching her and she does not see them because she's been doing the work. She's been healing. She's been um, regulating her body uh, through things like juicing, fasting, you know, drinking more water, eating better, detoxing, cleansing, um, just spending time just retreating. Um, so mind, body, and soul. And the purification is relevant, it's, it's evident. So now she's more attractive, you know, energetically. Um, and we have a minimum of two suitors that are in pursuit of approaching if they have not yet already approached this divine feminine. And this is a divine feminine energy reading for sure because we have everything here that clearly says that. So divine feminine um, has multiple um, people that are highly attracted to her and they could be for different reasons it could be you know this the hierophant makes me feel like there's more of a protection like he has her back that and is protecting her um he has may have her back indirectly um and there's people that works for him if you look at the hierophant you see there's two people that you know report to him that you know, um, work under him, like could be interns, depending on what he does, uh, um, his errand men, you know, um, whatever. But I I'm definitely feeling like a protection, you know, especially from a spiritual standpoint, because he's crowning the King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups feels to me like these two could know each other but they probably they, but they may not and if they do there's some type of rivalry going on you know that she may or may not be aware of um but the the king of cups is balanced and stable in his emotions he's definitely emotionally mature um, he's very insightful, very intuitive, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, very creative and emotionally nurturing, um, when he's in emotionally committed relationship. Um, he cares about family for sure and takes pride in you know, providing for and nurturing, you know, his family and the special woman that he has chosen to have in his life. Where'd my damn shoe go? <laughs> I don't know where it's at, but yeah, that's all that came to me just now. So either there could be a rivalry where there's two people um, and two good suitors um, interested in approaching the divine feminine, or it could be, um, one person supporting and helping, um, the other to see the truth. And, and I say the truth because this is the hierophant, see the truth and who divine feminine is, um, what she represents, what she stands for. But sometimes, you know, a king of cups could be someone who has overcome a lot of um, emotional heartbreak, disappointment, um, imbalanced relationships, um, 
disloyalty. Like he's had his share of experiences that have helped mature him emotionally. Now I said this could be a cancer spike, a cancer Pisces or Scorpio, or could this be anyone that you know represents all of the things that I just stated. So with that, he knows what he's want, what he wants, what he's ready for, and he knows that if he approaches the divine feminine, that he has to come correct. And that could be a scary thing. So you might need someone who can give you and provide you um, an elevated perspective um, that you may have not, you know, picked up on or been able to see by yourself. Because sometimes you can get advice and, you know, criticism and suggestions from people who are only seeing through their own filter, their own life filter. And a lot of people don't realize how limited their perspective is until they experience something that enlightens them or wakens their ass up. So that's why it's good not to judge and leave that for God, the most high, the creator, the alpha and the omega, because you can't see a person's whole timeline of their life. You know somebody or know people for the time period that you've been around them and have communicated or, you know, connected with them to be able to discern or decipher, you know, how they are or, you know, different things about them, but you don't truly know people. So with that being said, you know what I mean? We have to do a better job of not judging one another and, you know, this is coming to me because it's coming to me from real life experience and also just from observing, observing, you know, it happens to other people on a daily basis, you know. So um, this enlightenment period, this divine feminine awakening taking place, you know, within myself as well as, you know, the other divine feminines who have been connected to the healing energy and doing the work behind the scenes and you know, showing up and doing their part in whatever industry and in whatever field and whatever they do to um, express their gifts and, you know, help to restore and heal, you know, the confidence and, you know, um, the, the healthy mindset and the ambition to um, partake in personal development and, you know, just bettering ourselves in whatever areas we want to. It's not all about money all the time. It's not all about love all the time. You know what I mean? Like that's all very important. But if you don't have that good, healthy, spiritual soul-based connection to know who you are, you're gonna go ahead and just be choosing relationships and being with people that are gonna teach you who you are and teach you who they are. And that's when the three of swords, the heartbreak comes in, you know what I mean? Because we learn that <laughs> all them relationships wasn't supposed to be uh, um, it wasn't supposed to go as far as they did and it's all good but we live and we learn and we don't want to sit around boo-hoo crying <laughs> because we weren't as responsible as we could have been going into situations that led to um, heartbreak or disappointment you know um, of course like I said it's all here to teach us you know but we have to learn how to release and let go and recognize that it's teaching us, you know, what karma is, you know, what dharma is, you know what I mean? And that we want to be more in alignment with dharma. That is when, you know, you are sending out positive things, good things, fruitful, healthy, prosperous, abundant, you know, free, you know, when I say free, like freedom, you know, things that are, you know, productive and helps with evolving you and those around you and the things around you because we can't forget about nature so um when you put those things out that's going to come back to you but you have to do it with pure intentions you have to do it like you mean what you're saying and what you're doing um because you can't lie to the creator the most high god the source you can lie to yourself you can lie to your wife you can lie to your husband you can lie to your kids you can lie to your boss you can lie to whoever you want to lie to, but you can't lie to the, the creator. You can't lie to God. So it's 
makes sense now to those of us who thought that made sense that we recognize now that it doesn't make sense and to do better learn better know better do better be better have better you know what i mean all righty so that was 55 minutes that's probably like the longest reading i've done in a minute it's all good that clarity number 25 with the mother earth so i trust hope and pray that this message was um as empowering as it was enlightening enlightening um as liberating as full as it was of lessons um that we are now cutting through the illusions with goddess maya and that we are recognizing the opportunity for new visions to be released from the control of factors outside of us that you know aren't as powerful as they've been you know designed to have us believe they are um you know politics throughout this pandemic really gave us the opportunity for those of us who've been paying attention all our lives and didn't just start in 2020 um that it gave us the confirmation it gave us the clarity to know that everything is connected and you know a lot of the political shit that has, you know, been controlling um, our lives for so long is actually full of shit. And um, yeah, we have to do something about that respectfully and responsibly keeping, you know, the existence of the earth in mind, you know, for the beautiful children that are being born every day. Um, and that is not by drugging them and filling them up with toxic um, vaccines that are going to potentially make them um, dependent and, you know, different learning disabilities and developmental disabilities and, you know, just disabling um, our children. That is what we most definitely um, cannot continue doing um, with all this science and politics blended into a soup full of bullshit from my perspective and i'm miss black born marissa but um miss black at marissablack.com This work most definitely comes with a great deal of, you know, stress and, you know, frustration at times and exhaustion because you see things way far in advance than the average person. So you're made to look and be perceived as a crazy, a psycho, you know, don't have all your marbles and da 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 da, -da all of that, you know, when... The truth of the matter you know comes out decades later and they're like those same people that have all those names and nicknames and all that for you are the same people that are knocking down your door like i need answers i need greater understanding it's all good i ain't here to judge i'm just here to do the work but i'm sharing that part of it just in case you're one of those people who believe in reciprocity and you know you found some value in the message here and the time and energy that I put into producing this, then, you know, you want to support uh, the platform development of OGs United, which will allow me, you know, um, more time to be freed up to, you know, process the energy responsibly to support others in their uh, growth and personal development um, journey, um, soul's development journey. Um, financial uh literacy obtaining uh, journey like all of that um awareness in your body and you know being able to self-heal you know releasing trauma re releasing pain 
um, and things of the sort. I'm here for all of that. Um, like I said, my name is Marissa, um, also known as Miss Black. I am a Reiki master. I am a natural hair care specialist, and I'm also a custom wig designer, amongst many other things. Um, so um, I'm very intuitive. I have been all my life and I know how to read energy. I know how to, you know, read symbols. Um, and I'm also a reader in that regard. So from time to time, when I have the time, um, I like to put together an energy forecast, um, such as this one, the May 2022 OG's United Energy Forecast to support us in um, having the right mindset or um, the most beneficial mindset. I don't want to say right because I don't want to get into what's right and wrong, but the most beneficial um, mindset and um, perspective of what energy we're leaving out of, what energy we're in, and what energy we're going into, and how to be able to best um, navigate you know, through these different energies and how we're able to um, just come out on top, how we can, you know, win in the things that we desire to want and achieve, you know, for our lives, um, making sure that they are truly in alignment with who we are. Otherwise, it's gonna be um, draining to try to maintain something that is not naturally for you, whether it be a relationship, a job, a business, um, a ministry, um, an organization, like whatever it is, if it's not in alignment with the truth of who you are, it's going to come with more obstacles than, you know, you want to deal with in many cases. And you can, you know, battle and fight through in those obstacles. You know, of course you will live and learn, you know, you can stay in that relationship. You can, you know, stay in that job. You can stay at that, you know, religious institution that, you know, the the leader, you know, is a pedophile or, you know, something disturbing of the sort. But, you know, you still follow the leadership. It's not my business. I'm just, you know, communicating the messages so we can be aware of the different things that are taking place and you know choose wisely in the things that we decide to invest thought energy emotional energy mental energy physical energy and financial energy into because what we put out is what we're going to get back okay all right so this is once again our may 2022 og's united energy forecast um i ask that you support the platform and become a Black Card member, as I stated earlier. Um, that just contributes to the development, um, the expansion of, you know, OGs United, of the website at MarissaBlack.com, of us on Patreon and me being able to create more content, but not only creating content like this of value, but also getting to connect with more guests, um, people that I know that are incredible in what they know and what they do. And, you know, it's an opportunity for us to connect, learn, grow, and evolve from great people who are done, are doing it and have done it, the work, you know? So um, I'm excited about all that's coming together it's may 1st 2022 um it is um definitely a new cycle um a karmic you know releasing has most definitely taken place like i feel it within me and around me and i'm trust hoping and praying that you know the soldiers the loved ones you know the family the friends have you know survive this and you know continuously coming out on top and you know being more prepared for all the greatness um as well as the challenges that are to come because i'm realistic i'm not you know dealing with illusory you know nothing i see clearly 
have been seeing clearly despite what anyone else thinks um because i do smoke marijuana so people think that you know with me doing that that you know i'm a little high and dippy and confused or whatever people think about people that smoke weed well i'm telling you i'm very clear as a matter of fact marijuana has been a tool that has helped me to maintain my clarity and my cool at the same time because it has provided me a little bit more patience with you know dealing with the common you know every day you know not yet mentally evolved you know mature you know individuals that i still have to encounter i'm not saying that that's an everyday thing but when it does happen it does happen and you know that has been one of my tools that helps me to be the observer to not judge to stay present and be still sometimes and just you know process what it is that i'm feeling why i'm feeling it and what i need to do about it if i don't like how it feels respectfully and responsibly that was for somebody all right so this has been great i'm excited that i found the energy today to get this done and shout out again to the organized goddess 11 i love you ladies i appreciate you for your dedication your inspiration your insight your wisdom you know your unique ways to teach you know um using tarot using oracles and just the phenomenal things that you know are being produced and the shift in consciousness that um, is evolving. And I'm grateful that, you know, I stayed true. And I'm grateful to, to those of you who also stayed true. With that being said, peace, love, gratitude, um, all of those abundant, vibrant things. And um, we got this. All right. So happy may yeah you don't even hear me ever say stuff like that like talk like happy friday happy yeah happy may happy Mar may 1st 2022 we are here we are grateful and we are moving forward and progressing you know um individually and collectively so let's get it